Hi, I'm Heinbach. Good to have you back. In my hunt for test equipment to make music with, I came across a most astounding piece of technology built entirely on vacuum tubes that looks like it comes out of the game Fallout. The Tektronix Type 160. This was not intended as a modular synthesizer, this is just how I use it, but it is rather a modular oscilloscope. The Type 160 was made from 1957 onwards to the highest specifications. This was meant for measuring military equipment, rockets, airplanes and so on. These particular units were imported by Roden Schwarz and were used at the Fraunhofer Institute in the Ruhrpott. The modular design for an oscilloscope has some advantages and Tektronics have kept at it through the ages. You can assemble the testing rig that fits exactly your specifications. And I can assemble the modular that fits exactly my specifications. The modules that I have here are the Type 161 pulse generator, the Type 163 pulse generator and two Type 162 waveform generators which are sawtooth based. And these are the best sawtooths I've ever heard. The Type 162 has a gate input, so you can control it via an external sequencer such as the Surge Touch Keyboard. This is a very useful feature for making music, but even more useful might be the waveform duration or pulse interval which is set in very musical intervals. So it's possible to play these like an instrument just by switching the knobs. The difference between the pulse generators is not huge. This one, the Type 163, goes up to 25 volts and the Type 161 goes up to 50 volts. So you definitely have to watch your levels unless you want to fry any piece of equipment that comes after this. I already have quite a few pulse generators in my setup, so I don't need to use these vacuum tube pulse generators for rhythm duties or pinging stuff. What I can use them for 
is as sub oscillators taking a waveform from the type 62 and dividing that so I get a lower octave or a different interval which makes for some very musical results. Sawtooth alone, first pulse generator, second pulse generator, I think I've said the word musical a bunch of times in this episode already, but that is because that is what this is. This is an instrument. You can use it for measuring, but it's so much fun to play it. And the only thing that's missing is a sweep in. So it's always manual pitch shifting, which is fun and works out fine because the knobs are beautiful, but you can't sequence the pitch externally. This would probably be an easy mod to do, but I like to keep these things as original as possible. These are basically museum pieces and who knows how many are still out there. Also, when I turned these on, one generated sparks, one blew up in smoke. Oh, oh, whoa, what? Fire. Really? Fire. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It does crackle a bit, which actually sounds quite interesting to me. I would have loved to show you the oscilloscope part, but both of them are broken. For me it's amazing that a piece of equipment built in 1957 still performs well today. And the only thing that I had to do to get it to work is source some of these octal connectors, which as you can see are a bit different than usual. I got these from Surplus of Nebraska and they smell like my grandfather's shed and they made my whole studio smell like my grandfather's shed, which is Kinda beautiful, I guess? It's important to note that Tektronix had the most beautiful logo in the 1950s. That looks exactly what the designers of Fallout came up with for their games. When planning this video, I knew people would ask me about the cock YouTube. So I recorded four minutes of sound with it at Superbooth 19.
as you can hear, the new chip doesn't sound bad. It doesn't have the power of these modules, but it's a nice color and an addition to the Sonic palette that's also cheap and tiny. I'm going to be covering more vacuum tube modular stuff in the future. I already recorded an interview with Animal Factory and I've got the Pentode VCA by Pertronics that I want to get a closer look at. So let's make some music with a Type 160. You can find this track and the nice sound pack of the Type 160 on my Patreon. That's it for this video. If you have any more questions, do leave them in the comments below or head over to the subreddit where we discuss all these topics at length. So thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.